welcome to Ice Study Corner. Today I will teach you maths of class 9. Unit 1 Matrices and Determinants. First, I will give you the introduction about matrices and determinants. Matrices and determinants are used in the field of mathematics, physics, statics, electronics, and other branches of sciences. The idea of matrices was given by Arthur Cayley. In 1858, an English mathematician who developed the theory of matrices. Then I will tell you what is a matrix. A rectangular array or a formation of a collection of real numbers. Say zero, one, two, three, four, and seven, etc. When they are written as 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 7, they are not matrix. But when enclosed by square brackets 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 7, they are called matrix. Another example 0, 1, 3, and 4. Matrices are denoted by capital letters or alphabets. For example, A, B, C, dot, dot, M, and a sector. Then I will tell you what ruler of matrix is matrices. Then I will tell you what a row and column of a matrix. First I will tell you what is a row of a matrix. The entries presented in horizontal way are called row of a matrix. I can give you an example. A is equal to 0, 1, 3 and 4. The entries are the numbers which are present in a matrix. The entries presented in horizontal way are called rows of a matrix. We can name them R1 and R2. Now I will tell you what are columns of matrix. Now I will tell you what are columns of a matrix. The entries presented in vertical way are called columns of a matrix. I'm going to give you an example. 0, 1, 3, and 4. The entry is presented in vertical way. The entry is presented in vertical way are called columns of a matrix. We can name them C1 and C2. Now I will tell. Now I'll tell you what are order of matrix. The 
number of rows number of rows and number of columns specify the order of matrix like an example if we have matrix m 0 1 2 3 4 and 7 first we have to calculate the number of rows and then we have to calculate the number of columns so first we have to calculate the number of rows the number of rows are the entries presented in horizontal way are called rows of a matrix we can name them R1 and R2. Now we have to calculate the number of columns. The entries presented in vertical way are called column of a matrix. We can name them C1, C2 and C3. Now we have the, if we have the matrix M, so the number of rows will be small m and the number of columns will be n. So the order will be m by n. And now we have calculated the number of rows and number of columns. The number of rows are 2 and number of columns are 3. So now we have calculated the number of order of matrix. I will tell you what are equal matrices. Equal matrices has two conditions. First is the order of both matrices will be equal. And the other condition is their corresponding entries are equal. If the matrices has both these conditions fulfilled, they are called equal matrices. Like I give you an example that we can take two matrices. 0, 1, 3, and 4. B is 0, 1, 3, and 4. First condition, we have to check the first condition. The first condition is the order of both the matrices is equal. Will be equal or is equal? First, we have to calculate the number of rows to get the order of matrices. First row, second row. And first column, second column. The order will be 2 by 2. Now I have to calculate the number of rows in the second, second matrix. First row, second row. First column, second column. The order will be 2 by 2. We have seen that the first condition is fulfilled here. So we have to calculate, check the second condition that is their corresponding entries. In the matrix A, the first entry is 0 and the other entry is also 0 in the matrix B. Now we have checked the second entry. Second entry is 1 and the second entry of matrix B is also 1. We have to calculate the next matrix that is Matrix, check the entry of matrix A, third entry is 3 and also the matrix B is 3. Now we have to check the in, matrix A also has entry 4 
and matrix B also has entry 4. So the second condition is also fulfilled. Their corresponding entries are equal. So we can call both the matrices are equal matrices. I hope you are satisfied with my lecture. If any query, comment in the comment box. I will do it. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe my channel and click the bell icon button for my latest videos. Keep in touch with me. Thank you.